Hi, welcome to the Operationalizing MITRE Attack for Security Operations Center's SOX course by Purple Academy. This is the fifth course of the Proactive Security Operations Center SOC Learning Path. By the end of this course, you will have learned about indicators of compromises, the MITRE ATT&CK framework and TTPs, and ATT&CK matrix for enterprise. Then you will learn the four steps of operationalizing MITRE ATT&CK. These steps are threat intelligence, adversary emulation, gap analysis, and detection and analytics. The famous criminologist Edmund Locard's Every Contract Leaves a Trace Principle also applies to cybercrime. As with any crime, adversaries leave traces behind during cyber attacks, and each trace is referred to as an indicator of compromise, IOC. An IOC is evidence that a cyber attack has taken place. Indicators of compromise give valuable information about what has happened, prepare defenders for future attacks, and help prevent, detect, and respond to similar attacks. However, there are various types of indicators that do not have the same importance, with some being much more valuable than others. Therefore, the differences between indicators have led to the need for a classification system. A well-known IOC classification, the Pyramid of Pain, was introduced in 2013 by cybersecurity expert David J. Bianco. Bianco illustrated the value of each indicator type in this pyramid. He named the pyramid the Pyramid of Pain due to the fact that each level is proportional to the pain both security professionals and adversaries feel. As we climb to the upper levels of the pyramid, it becomes increasingly difficult, painful, for security professionals to collect and apply indicators. However, it also becomes difficult for adversaries to replace them with new ones. For example, according to a security professional's point of view, it is easy to obtain and incorporate the hash values of malicious files into security controls, but it isn't easy to define and apply TTPs, tactic, technique, and procedures, into security tools. From an adversary's perspective, changing the hash value of a malware file is very simple. However, it is challenging and costly to change TTPs. Let me highlight a very apparent cultural shift in the way SOX operate, where we see that SOX began to take a more proactive approach. Starting with the first antivirus software, we are traditionally detecting atomic IOCs, such as hash values, IP addresses, and domain names. However, we must start to detect adversary behavior, tactics, techniques, and procedures, TTPs, and tools used by adversaries. At least, we have to detect their artifacts in the network and hosts. The MITRE ATT&CK framework systematically defines and organizes TTPs. It is a globally accessible public knowledge base based on real-world observations of adversary operations. It has become a common language between security teams to describe TTPs. The other important aspect of MITRE ATT&CK is that it is a community-driven initiative. Therefore, it is a compelling framework as the whole global security community can contribute to it. This is the MITRE ATT&CK matrix for enterprise. There are other matrices, such as the mobile and ICS frameworks. In this matrix, each column represents a tactic, the adversary's technical goals. To achieve these goals, in other words, tactics, adversaries use different methods, which are called techniques. To give an example, for initial access, an attacker may send a spear phishing attachment or exploit a public-facing application, such as an Apache server. The other aspect of this framework is that it is not static. The framework expands as new techniques and tactics are observed. At the moment, Attack for Enterprise contains 14 tactics, 185 techniques, and 367 sub-techniques. MITRE ATT&CK also provides threat groups that are related to an intrusion activity, as well as software utilized by these threat groups. Currently, ATT&CK includes 122 groups and 585 software. This figure presents relationships between objects in the MITRE ATT&CK framework. Briefly, in the life cycle of a cyber attack, a threat group uses some techniques or sub-techniques to accomplish their goals, tactics, manually, or via some software. 
MITRE ATTACK provides valuable information for each technique and subtechnique, such as metadata, procedure examples, mitigations, and detection to help security teams. We explain these objects in the following sections.